How are we going to do that, that sentence? I'm most like Chinese class. Femi, you swap? Your task then, gentlemen, your pairs. My name is Paul Tiskerud. I'm the Confucius Classroom Manager and Head of Mandarin at Dartford Grammar School. So Confucius Classroom is a centre of excellence in Mandarin and we are responsible for developing Mandarin both within our school but in the local area through primary schools, secondary schools, any school that needs assistance with Mandarin, uh, we will support them in doing so. I first went to China with the British Council as a language exchange um, and I was teaching in Chinese schools. While I was over there I became quite fascinated with Chinese language um, and having developed my Mandarin I came back and trained uh, as a PGC student in Chinese and French and since then I've been teaching at Dartford Grammar School. We try to um, incorporate a mixture of uh, activities in every language lesson, often starting with some open conversation so that pupils build up their confidence communicating because we feel that that is the key uh, skill to develop at the beginning. Okay, Beijing was that the example you used, Shi Ju Ke? You remember that from Friday? Excellent. Yeah. Very yeah. good. Good stuff. See if you can come up with another. The kinesthetic activities are always very popular with the boys because they enjoy working as a team, communicating with each other and shuffling the sentences together. They enjoy that very much because of the kinesthetic element of it. We won the 2013 uh, Confucius Classroom of the Year Award. Uh, we were one of five schools in the world to, to win that award and it was given to us for our commitment to not only our development of Mandarin in the local area but also supporting schools across the UK and particularly teacher training as well. All four of our Mandarin teachers at Dartford Grammar School have lived in China for various amounts of time and we are passionate and fascinated by Chinese culture. Aside from the obvious benefits to the CV and future of being able to communicate in Mandarin with uh, a quarter of the world's population, um, the culture uh, that consists of 5,000 years of history in China is absolutely fascinating. So I feel that the language unlocks the door to a culture that people know very little about in the UK at the moment and it's a shame and I feel like more people should have more opportunity to learn about Chinese culture and really embrace it in the way that the Chinese do with British and Western culture as well.